I think it's better. I don't have my cool music, my groove. So that Papa Americano song that those people did, I don't have that. But we are here to make deodorant. I've got to tell you, it's an emergency around here because um, I went to use my deodorant this morning and you can see the cupboard was bare. And so I broke into the emergency travel deodorant and it was empty and I scraped it out and used it. Um, so didn't you see this coming? Somebody would ask me. Well, yeah, I kind of did, but you know how it is. I'm kind of Cinderella around here. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day is Cinderella. Yeah. Um, so that's me. Make the fire, make the breakfast, wash the dishes. If they always keep her hopping, she go around in circles till she's very, very busy. So they holler, keep up busy, Cinderella. That's me. Anyway, so I saw it coming, but here's the desperation. I am the stinkiest person you know. That's my confession. I hope we're still friends. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to see you all. Um, and second only to my, well, I don't know. My kid might not even be as stinky as I am. Have you tried the natural deodorants? The natural deodorants, have you tried them? Everybody tell me. Yes, no. Have you tried the Tom's deodorant that doesn't work? At least it didn't work for me. Maybe you found something that worked for you. Um, but no, it, I, it didn't work for me. And so I like the, the strong stuff, but the problem with the strong stuff is that it's Pison. Have you looked it up? Have you Googled what deodorant can do for you? Oh, yeah, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. I love you. Um, Google that sometime about the health not benefits of deodorant. So I had to find something that worked. Well, this works. Now, I just got back from a cross-country meet all day. But I took the time to be like Julia Childs. I've got everything measured out. I'm feeling, oh, oh, and then we do this, and then we do this. Y'all are too young to know about Julia Childs, aren't you? Okay. And I con married my house, and I ditched the double boiler. So I've got a, I've got a plan, though. Hang on. Okay. Little trick I learned in Nam. A big pot and a littler pot. And this is going to be our double boiler. Okay. So... What you need for all natural, good for you deodorant is coconut oil. Can you fix this? Here? Coconut oil. I ordered this online, but you can get it. Oh, here's my recipe. Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? I am right. Okay, here's the recipe for purdy pits. You want three tablespoons of beeswax pastilles. How do you say that? Pastilles, pastilles, whatever, something like that. Here they are. You get them on Amazon. Nerlin Nur joint, excellent. Then you need two tables. Is that yeah? Two tablespoons of shea butter. Where do you get that? Amazon too. You know Amazon will solve all of your life's problems. You know that, right? Amazon two tablespoons of shea butter. Get the good stuff. It matters. Yeah. I took it. <laughs> I took it. You're funny. Okay, one cup of organic coconut oil. Not the fractionated stuff. You want the stuff that is solid at room temperature. In fact, in general, in life, uh, what do they call that? Um, uh, solid stuff. There's a word for this. Who's got it? It's the solid stuff. If it's solid at room temperature, it is called... My husband's staring at me like he doesn't know. It's... Oh. Mm. They tell you not to eat it, but it's good for you, actually. Like, lard is saturated. Solid stuff. Thank you, Terry. It's saturated. Saturated fats is good for you. Don't pay any attention to the people that say it's bad for you. It's good for you. When I ate unsaturated fats and grain, I was a big tubby girl. And now that I eat this kind of stuff, I'm not so tubby anymore. Coincidence? Maybe. Anyway. So you want the saturated stuff. Don't use the um, monounsaturated. Don't use the fractionated. Okay, back to the recipe. You want one cup of arrowroot powder, one cup of baking soda, and five drops each of the most heavenly scent on earth. That is frankincense, lavender, lemon, and purification. All of those together are divine. It's my second favorite smell ever next to Valor. Moment of silence for valor. It'll come back soon, right? I have faith with you. Okay, so in fact, that's what we've got diffusing in the background. It's amazing. So here's what you're going to do. Mix all 
of your thick, all of your oily ingredients together. Here's my beeswax pastilles. In fact, if you're really clever, get those on the heat first because they they take a while to to um, melt. So I'm putting this in my other pot that has water in it, kind of like a double boiler. And I put it in here and I'm going to turn on the stove. Be right back. So the stove is on and that's warming up. Now, have you ever tried to measure, if you're new at this, and now if you don't know about this, or if you already know about this, then I'm sorry. But if you're new to this and you're trying to measure this thick, chunky stuff, then you're in a world of hurt and you're sad and you're like, oh, I can't measure it. Here's the little trick I learned in NOM, ready? Put it in the oven and melt it, right? So, I have melted coconut oil right in here. And I'm going to put one cup of coconut oil right there. Oh, I'm getting dangerous. Do you remember in home ec, did you all take home ec when they made you put water in it? If you were going to measure something solid and, and then you had to put the solid thing in there? Aqua, yes. No, this is coconut oil. And then that would, that would raise the level of the water and you would say to yourself, oh, well, that's how much is in there. The difference, you don't even have to do that because you melted it. I'm pouring it in the pot now, just a minute. Okay, and you want to stir. Oh, thank you, husband, for turning that so everybody can see me. Maybe you should turn it a little more so everybody can see me. Okay. You need a spoon and you're just going to stir I got the hot, or I got the water hot first. Now, if we weren't having internet problems, we would be playing some snappy music right now. So, if you don't want to take the, the time to do this, or you're having trouble with it or something, Young Living does sell a good deodorant. It's just that, you know, I'm lazy, or sometimes I'm lazy and I just want to buy it, and other times I want to make it because... I love the smell of lavender, frankincense, lemon, and purification. I robbed this purification, by the way, from my aroma, um, from my diffuser. So let me just plop this back on so that I can do that. All right. Now here's how you measure the shea butter. This is an inexact science. You're not going to butter it up. Trust me on this one. I wanted to do this in front of you so that you could see how to do it. You just mash it in there. Just mash it. Anybody from the South? No, the colors are essential oils. They are good for you. This is one of the neatest ways to get your essential oils. Okay, there's my shea butter. I'm just going to scrape it in the bowl here. One. All the fatty stuff first, right? I do this just for me. I do this for my family. And I do this for my team because I want to take care of people, and deodorant is some of the nastiest stuff on earth, as I have mentioned. Two, dose. Anybody here from dose, right? Okay. Okay, while that's melting, I want to show you, you can get these at Abundant Health. Abundant Health for you, uh, dot com, I think. And they're deodorant containers, who knew? Isn't that fabulous? And I've got about 12 sitting out here because I want, I don't know how many it's going to take. So I've got all these 12. Thank you for the hearts. Keep doing that. Sitting out here and we're just going to fill that up as soon as this is melted. We're getting there. Is anybody actually doing this with me? Do you have your stuff out? Are you doing it? Okay. Did it seem daunting or too hard? It's not. I'm not the first light bulb on at Christmas, so if I can do this, anybody can do this for real. Okay. We are almost there. After I'm done with that, I've got, oh, he's got some music going. <laughs> Dance with me. Um, we're going to be doing all of this deodorant. This is for my team. 
Everybody needs natural deodorant. We're almost there, folks. Are you dancing with me? Do. Okay. Okay, that's it. We can cut the music. One cup of baking soda, one cup of arrowroot powder. Denterone Plus is faster. It might be, but I'm not crazy about it. I mean, I like it as a toothpaste, but I'm not crazy about it as this. And I like something in a stick. Some people say, oh, it gets a little bit goopy during the summertime. Just a little bit, but then you just don't put as much out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we go. I'm dumping this in. Can you show me, Ron? I want you to see this. No, oh, your finger is on it here. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Joe. Okay, I just dumped it in. And I'm going to stir it up. And then we are almost done. And you'll have like 12 deodorants made. And it will cost you, hmm, I think probably about $3. But you can reuse those deodorant containers. They cost a dollar for each, which is not bad. I'm going to wait until it's almost melted before I add my essential oils. Does the heat damage the essential oils? Does anybody know any answer to that? No, it does not. Now, lemon isn't typically heated because that can, that can produce kind of a rancid smell. But the other ones are not damaged by heat, especially not low heat like this, on a double boiler. We're almost there. Okay, the trick here is to not let it get cold because if you let it get cold, you're going to be kafunk, kafunk in there and you don't want to do that. So here I go with my best scent on earth. Five drops of purification, five drops of lavender, five drops of frankincense. I ran out of frank too, so I'm using the sacred frankincense, which is, <laughs> proves that I love my team. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. I know I'm shaking. Any Young Living rep worth her salt will tell you, don't shake, just be patient, just wait. Do you know how to find that little ball? Do you know how to find the spot? Do you know that it actually doesn't come out the center? It comes out, three, four, five. It comes out this little itty bitty pinhole that's right near it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then the frank. Okay. Double bubble boiling trouble. There we go. And it should look soupy. Like that. But it's going to harden up. Be nice. Okay. There you go. This is where it counts. Start pouring. Notice the lids are already off. Don't pour, Wah! don't pour too much. Oh no, a little Spanish lingo there. Dose. Trace, the good news is if it hardens up, you just have to put it on the double boiler again. Trace, I feel like the count in Sesame Street, who remembers him? Four deodorants, ho! Oh! Five. Okay, six, oh yeah, seven, we're getting there. See, this makes so much. Oh, it's a little goopy on the bottom. Stir, stir. Now, the other thing is that this is not an antiperspirant, meaning you're still going to sweat, but sweating is actually good for you. Did you know that? It's good for your body. Eight. How long will those take to cool? 
nine, nine deodorants. And these are going to cool, oh, probably in about the period of time that it takes me to suck down a nitro. They will cool probably in mm, five minutes, and then you can use it just as a regular deodorant. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody? Thank you for the hearts. I love you too. Anybody? Mmm. Think about nitros. You've got to get to the bottom. Mmm. Mm. That's good stuff. No questions? Okay. Well, in that case, if you don't know how to get your hands on, wait, the best essential oils on the planet. I should, I should do a whole broadcast about the amazing benefits of these essential oils and how Young Living is 25 years ahead of everybody else in what they're able to produce. Um, so that'll be another broadcast for another time. I have recipe again. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Terry. Here you go. It is. There we go. Will I email the recipe? I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, but sure. Yeah. Take a we'll take a picture, my husband says. And how do I get them the email address? It's right there. My, oh, my yeah. email address? Oh, it's on, it's connected to your, uh, I think it's connected to your Periscope. Oh, yes. If you send me an email, I'd be happy to email the recipe. Right? It's really simple. Now, word on the street is that you can make it more perspirant, uh, antiperspirant if you decide to add some bentonite clay to it. People are saying yes, people are saying no. I say yeah, just don't wait tight, wear tight clothes because what happens, or what happened to me is that after I finally um, stopped assaulting my, my body with the other antiperspirant, I noticed that I didn't stink quite as much. After my body got used to sweating, all that bacteria was not in there anymore and it wasn't causing me problems. So there's that. Any other questions before I let you go? If you don't know where to get these amazing oils, um, ask the person who sent you and told you about this Periscope because they love you and they want you to be healthy. If you do know where to get the oils, get them. Like get them yesterday. What are you waiting for? Really? It's, it's cheap, especially when you consider um, all the health benefits. But if you don't know where to go, you can go to youngliving.com and enter number 1377243 is the person who sent you because I would love to have you on my team and I take care of my team. Um, so if you want some deodorant you want to be taken care of, then sign up with me. Thank you very much. And all you guys from the Common Sense team and the Sensible Life team, thank you for coming. Any other questions? Bye, I'm going to go dance now while my deodorant cools.